Oh, I'm coming at you with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. And the last time we did this, after running our little errands, we found out that we were able to go on the expedition. Well, the guild master was like, you know what? I'm bringing everybody. Because friendly friends make things more merrier. And all of that good stuff. And I know I fucked up entirely on the whole grammar thing. But I feel like if you use more in that word ending in ER, you're trying to really, extremely emphasize whatever statement you're using i know it's still not gonna justify me using improper grammar so please forgive me to all you people that are into the grammar thing and um yeah that's pretty much all that happened so let's get into this this is pokemon mystery dungeon explorers of sky i'm your host triple star and i'm the prince of all saiyans or well in this case pokemon i mean i am pikachu and technically i'm the mascot so i don't care if mew arceus whoever your pokemon creator you believe in made pokemon i'm the prince of all pokemon i don't see them as the mascot do you and if you do well then throw my argument out the water but uh whatever enough of my rambling let's get this going oh are you all ready for the expedition the expedition will be a long journey you should be stocked up on items are you all ready to go incidentally you may not bring members of your team that aren't of the aren't members of the guild. Understood? I know. Good. You you appear to be in full readiness. When the other apprentices assemble, I shall commence the briefing. Until then, just wait. Not like we have much of a choice. <laughs> what? All accounted for, it appears. Oh, I'm just throwing this out there. I think I had an extra sky blue bow, or I um used a previous save. I'm not I don't remember which but I do know that I have one again, so I'm just throwing it out there. And I did do a little training. I got Pikachu myself to like level 14 and I learned Quick Attack, by the way. Well then, let me explain about this expedition. First, the, object the objective. Exploration of Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct. It is a lake that is said to be located far to the east. However, it is perpetually enshrouded by a dense fog. As such, its actual existence has never been confirmed. It is merely the foggy mirage of a spot that lives to this day on rumor alone. It is also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. Wow, treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt? This is so exciting. Yep, it will be fun, fun, fun. Cha ha ha ha. Everyone, open your wonder maps, please. First off, this is where Fogbound Lake is said to be. As in uncharted territory, the area is shown under a cloud cover. Our guild is here. As you can see, the lake is at a considerable, considerable distance from the guild. Therefore, we will encamp at the foot of the highlands here that will serve as our base camp. If we were to travel all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be restricted. This strategy is to split up into several groups to travel to the base camp. I shall announce those groups now. The first group is Sunflora, Loudred, Diglett, and Krogunk. You guys, you better not hold me back! <laughs> you should talk. The next group is Dogtrio, Chimeco, and Corfish. We're a solid group. I promise to try my best. Hey, hey, likewise. Um, <clears throat> let's see. The guildmaster and I shall travel as a pair. That is acceptable, yes? Oh, I have to go with chant out? That's so boring. Please don't be difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Mini. Our guest, Team School, should travel independent of as their own group. Understood. <laughs> and the final group is Uderai, Triple, and Bidoof. We're in the same group. I hope I can keep up. Yep, yep. <laughs> same here, Bidoof. Well then. Everyone, let's get to it and move out. Smiles go for miles. Or whatever the saying is. And thus, the guild's expedition party began making its way toward Fogbound Lake. 
or downtown he according to plan the party was split into the designated groups and triple Udurai, and Bidu's group plotted its course the group settled on the route along the sea coast to reach the base camp Well, I have to save y'all yeah, save. I ain't got nothing to lose. Go big or go home, right? Because there's no going back as it is. We started this. We're going to end this. No matter what that, what, yeah, I can't English. No matter what dangers we face in Chapter 7, the Guild's Expedition. Listen to that music. That music is bomb. I feel like we're about to do something. Wow. The sea is right up this way, Triple. And just look at this cliff. Yup, yup. I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition. The path ahead surely will get tricky, just what real explorers like to see. And this, this here is something well known to all us explorers. It's a Kangaskhan rock. Wow, they actually explain these rocks. Remember, in um, Red and Blue Mystery Dungeon, they didn't explain these rocks. They're, they just threw them in there like, hey, talk to the rock and you'll find out what it is. Kangaskhan rock? Yes, Suri, you heard right? that there is a Kangaskhan rock. A King's Kong Rock lets you stow and take out items, and it lets you save a record of your progress. It's a real hope to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use King's Kong Rocks. Reckon they should know to talk a big shot. <laughs> I just want to say again that this here is my first exhibition. I'm feeling kind of nervous. By golly. <laughs> that goes for us, too. We're all beginners at this. Let's just do our best. Let's check the wonder map. I feel like I'm talking too loud. I can't really tell. But I normally do this, as you all know, when everyone's asleep at like 12. Well, 12 in the morning. <laughs> Midnight status, you know. Because it's really the only time I can do this. So I really hope I'm not waking anyone up. Because, well, niece and nephews are back in school. And everyone else works. Our present location is here. And I can't do it during the day because, well, I have school and all that jazz. And during the day, my dad randomly walks in my room, so random interruptions, you know? But uh, we're supposed to link up with everyone at the base camp. That's way over here. So as a first step, we could try reaching this spot. Want to try reaching here as our first objective? Yup, yup, I agree with that. Udurai is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. It must be the excitement from exploring that's bringing it out. But Udurai, who was so timid before, is trying so much harder. Yes, Udurai is getting stronger and more confident bit by bit. Oh, huh? Who? Huh? Problem? If you look closely here, there are two entrances. Huh? Now that is mighty vexing. What do we do, Trouble? Which way should we go? Um, let's. I don't know which one to go. I never played this game before. This is actually blind. I guess side path. Okay, side path it is. All right now. Let's let's all three of us work as one and get this done. Yup, yup. No, what? I didn't save. Are you serious? Oh, look, stairs. I probably shouldn't be yelling like that. Even though it's Oh god, it's a f it's a thing. Gastrodon, I am weak here. I will not be able to do shiz nights. Yo, um Holy crap, Beedoof! Holy cheese and crackers, Batman. Like gee willikers. I I, um, I thought I can cut corners with Thundershock. But seriously though, that EXP is No 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 get away from me Why would you I need to change your moves Udo Uto let's see I don't want poison powder on actually Use Vine Whip and Tackle How do you miss a tackle? He's right in front of you Good job Udo Oh what's this? What's a what's this? What's this? No, seriously, what is that? It... 
Why did I throw it? Yo, I'm so sorry that I'm being distracted by this. Epoxide is impenetrably hard. It likely contains something, but won't give up its secrets easily. Take it to Zatu in the treasure town for appraisal. Okay, so we got our first appraisal item. Not bad. Just walk up in here like we own a place and get stuff appraised, right? There you go. Oh, I should probably be careful with those wonder tiles. They may be a trap. And look, it's a spiel. Oh, wait, why did I go to items? I meant to do this. Take that. Blah, blah, blah. And Uto, before we do this, um, I gotta give you gummies. Here, eat that. Why is I love I really love this music in this dungeon. It sounds like a lullaby, yet it doesn't. It's so hype. I'm loving it. Like, can you feel the hype in the music? Let me just shut up so you can hear it. Well, wait, maybe I shouldn't. I I don't know, but just listen. You hear that? Isn't that awesome? Um, can I kill it with a quick attack? Nope. <laughs> oh, I'm not affected by Encore? If, that's awesome. And what I mean by not affected by Encore is that I did a normal attack that time, not quick attack if you didn't know. Just throwing it out there. So that's cool. I guess it only affects actual moves. Wow, I would choose the wrong path. What? This place again? Seems to me that we're back to where we came from. Yep, yep. Explains why the foes were easy, right? It looks like that path loops back right to where we started. If we aim to move on, I reckon we ought to choose Craggy Coast. Alright, we'll take another shot at this. Let's get it done. Well, at least I can save now. Save and continue. Hey guys, maybe I did that on purpose so I can talk to the Kangaskhan statue and save and show you the options. Yup, yup. <laughs> nah, I'm real. I was really lost. Craggy Coast. Why would they, why would there even be an option? Especially since they just said that we have to go that way. All right, let's roll out. Oh, and as you can see, I am kind of experimenting with the um. I guess you can call it. I don't even know what it's called. To be honest, but the thing in the background that you see with my name on it and the three main members of my party that will that I'll probably be using for the game. But now I uh, move the game up a little. I have the top part where it shows them, and then I have the bottom part where it shows my name. I think I'm gonna go with this instead for the rest because I actually like the feel of it. It just looks way better to me so tell me if you like it and if I didn't say before well I'm gonna say now my good friend my good friend my good friend Chain Mushroom was the one who made this for me real swell guy oh god save me Uto I'm going to die Uto I'm okay never mind oh, I was about to say why would you do this to me I can't fight that thing by myself you're gonna get me killed like why would you do this to me Uto why All right, let's keep going. Oh, it's a wingle, and I'm facing the wrong way. Boom. We're getting fairly good EXP, and I need all the geo pebbles I can get because I'm really gonna spam those like crazy. If you, if you remember the first OP, you will know that I love projectiles in this game. They make a huge difference, in my honest opinion. Can I just quick attack you? Yeah, I thought so. You too? Thought so? Give me your geo pebbles. Oh, and I don't know if I asked this or not, but how are you all doing? I hope you're doing amazingly well. And that your Monday, you started the week off with a great note. And, well, I. I just forgot what I was going to say. I had a brain fart. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I completely had a brain fart. I don't know what I wanted to say. I feel so at a loss for words. 
So you know what, let's just continue on in the dungeon. <laughs> and get all the random poke. Oh yeah, speaking of poke. I um, heard that poke is actually supposed to be yen. But they changed it to poke to make it just less confusing when they made the um, American version of the games. I think in Japan, in the other Asian countries, it's still called yen, but here we call it poke. I never realized that until now. I think the symbol's still the same, I don't remember. But I just thought that was kind of cool, fig finding that out, that it's actually... Oh god, no, 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 no. Thank you, Uto. Thank you. Four times effective the grass. You're you're gonna be the one who saves me from those guys. Yeah. Man, I seriously forgot where I heard that from. That this is actually Yen. Ooh, an apple. I need to uh, eat those. Best part about finding apples is if you have a full stomach, you're boosting your stomach hunger right I don't know the proper way to word that but yeah all hit orb I feel like that'd be hey Beedoof pick that up okay don't pick it up Beedoof you bum what item do you have I can't change your moves oh whatever whatever we'll just keep going it's okay We'll deal with the cards that we were given. Kind of wish I could know Beedoof's moves, though. I just know he has headbutt. And I probably can't give him items, either. Ooh, gummy! Uto, you know what to do. Eat it. Are you serious? <laughs> Oi. There's just no winning with this guy. I have. To... There we go. Um, where's the other one? Bidoof, I swear to God, if you ate it. I don't know where the other one is, but I have a. Oh, it's right there. There you go. Eat that. There. Is that a. What do you call that thing? A silo? Yeah, that's a CeeLo. Sorry, but you gotta go. <laughs> Ooh, another box. <laughs> I feel like, uh, what's his face? James Woods. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, God, it's a... It's a... Udo, handle that. It's a... What is that thing called? Is that a Krabby? Yeah, that's a Krabby. I thought it was a Kingler. A lot of blue gummies here. I'm actually just gonna hit him with a Thunder Wave. And I miss. You know, I'm, I'm not even surprised that I miss attacks anymore. Because when I... When I do battles, I... Cherry Berry. I'm just gonna eat that because I don't get paralyzed. Come on. Do I look like a Pokemon that gets paralyzed? I do the paralyzing. Come on. Um, what did I pick up? Blue. You know the drill. Eat that, Uto. Gummies off the ground make you smarter. That's what you taught me. Boom. Vine Whip. I swear, Bulbasaur is the most OP Pokemon in the Mystery Dungeon series, in my opinion. And that's mainly because of Bullet Seed. Um, eat that. Well, I guess any Pokemon that has a move like that is OP. But I just want to say Bulbasaur because, you know, you get him as your partner. And, um, shoot, I completely forgot what he learns leveling up. But I think Bulbasaur even learns the, uh, move Bullet Seed leveling up, too. XIC. Doesn't that seed mess you up? I remember eating one of those. Causes hallucinations. Yeah, no. We don't need that. We don't. That's, that's like drugs. We don't do drugs. Drug free. Like, hello? Oh my god, it's a TV. Oh my god. Oh my god. Quick attack. 
I'm actually scared right now. I am actually scared of the drug. Blah. I'm actually scared of this Zucchini. Okay, no, I'm not, because it's gone. But if it was still alive. Oh my god, it's another one! Guys, that's not gonna affect it. Oh my f oh my frick frack. That means we're gonna run into Dragonite, guys. I think that's what that means. There's gonna be a Dragonite somewhere on the later floors when shit hits the fan. Do you know what this means? You can't mud slap him. Fuck, 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 Oh my, oh my Lanta, oh, are you fucking serious? Udo, kill him, kill him, kill him. Mayday, 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 are you the may, are you the may? Oh my, oh, oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. I need that. The, yeah, the dojo also gives a lot of orange berries when you find them on the ground. Oh, and what's the thing I need? Where is it? Where is it? Give that to myself. And that does boost, yeah, all my stats. Oh, guys, I, I, I just had a heart attack over there. I thought I was going to die, man. Okay, good. Look at that. We can stop here just in the nick of time. Wow. Whew, my golly, I reckon we're finally through. Yes, but we still have a long way to go for the base camp. Let's check the wonder map. Our present location is here. The base camp is here. I reckon we have gotten ourselves a lot closer. We're nearly there. We're halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. If we cross over this mountain, we'll reach the base camp. Whoops, that was my belly growling. I just ate an apple and an orange berry. Why am I hungry? <laughs> Hold up, Uto. I gave you like five gummies. You shouldn't even be hungry. <laughs> Us too. If we start climbing the mountain now, I think it'll be night before we finish. Do you want to call it a day? We can rest here tonight. I agree completely. Then let's eat. Yeehaw! <laughs> what? Whoa. The next morning. Wait, what? I was hoping we'd do it at night. Alright, gang. We have to get moving. No, really. I was hoping we'd do it at night. To be honest. Crossing this mountain is going to take us to the base camp. Yup, yup. Let's get it done. And with that, I'm going to save things here. And I'm going to actually put the other stuff in the storage. So everyone, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button because I love it so much when you show some support in any way, shape, or fashion. If you want more, come on. You know you got to hit that subscribe button if you want more. And comment discussion. Tell me, how does the whole setup for the background thing look? Like, do you like it? Yay, nay, should I change something up? Because if it's in my power and I can change it to make it look better, I will do my best to make it more appealing to your eyes. And with that, I bid you all adieu and thank you. Come again.